Hi guys, Redneck Wannabe here. I hope all is well with you and your family today. So um, today let's talk about money. And I know I, I can, I'm speaking for myself as well, but I think that, um, that more people would like to homestead or have a small farm or really just give up the rat race just to have a more slow life, um, you know, on an acre, two acres, 10 acres, who knows, you know, how, how, however many, but I think most people would like to do that. But, you know, we just wonder, you know, can I really make it? And, you know, I have to admit that's, that's what I've been thinking here lately. But, um, you know, I did a, a previous video. So about how much money can you make in a small garden? So again, we've got that garden out there and we have this garden right here. And so, I think conservatively, you can make about three thousand bucks. I think you can even make up to five thousand, or, or or possibly more, just depending on how much uh, and how um, how intense you you garden. And so, one thing that I thought about doing, and you know, I tried to get, I tried it this spring, didn't work. Was I was going to uh, plant some extra seedlings and just sell them, and I probably would have would have sold some but you know the weather and my inexperience and all that just didn't quite um, work so um, I've tried so so let's just go through the different ways that we could make some money so obviously selling produce um, but you you have a small time frame let's just say May through October but then if you're really good at winter crops which I'm I need to learn more you've got that other um, avenue so you know you, you have you have small windows of time that we could make money but let's move into maybe having a backyard nursery so here's some of my uh, my seedlings uh, that I planted I've got some more around the corner but where I think the uh, the the real money, so to speak, is going to be, is going to be trees. And so this just happened to me. Um, well, you know, I was kind of moving that way for, uh, you know, for seedlings, but I just, I never thought about trees making money. And in the next, uh, next week, I'm going to try three ways, uh, experimenting with how to, how to, um, to root tree cuttings. But, you know, here, here's a pair and this is, Three years old now I think and so this limb right here has naturally um, grown out to the side so vertical or I'm sorry horizontal and then I just got to look in that you know here is this I don't know shoot whatever you want to call it that has grown up vertically so let's just say that we cut this right here and whether or not we we grafted on some root stock whether we uh, root it some other way but let's just say that we make a tree out of this right here and when I bought the farm I bought five peach trees one pear and one fig and I think I, I bought that for say 250 bucks so let's just say each tree was worth forty dollars so let's say we cut this we root it however you know whether we graft it or however but we have a tree right here so let's just say we take it one year and uh, you know so here's let's just let's be conservative so let's say a $30 tree let's just say that each one of these shoots is a tree so there's one two three four you know five six seven eight nine you know, I mean there's there's ten shoots right there on that limb that we could um, cut off graft root however and you know again let's just say that we 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 hold on to it for two years in in our backyard nursery so there's 10 let's just say you know be conservative 30 bucks per tree so there's 300 bucks on one limb and that doesn't even take into consideration the rest of the tree and so let's say like like this these two limbs right here I just did this within the last week and so I just you know got some got some wire and it's not pretty but I'm gonna train this to go out horizontally two things 
we can either A, cut off some of these shoots next year to make in the trees, or B, all this fruit is going to be vertical right here where all I have to do is just come and reach and, and grab it vertically. So whether I want a U pick or whether I want um, to make trees, you know, who knows how much this tree could be, but just think of how many of these limbs you know I can I can grow horizontally or let's just say that I cut it right here root it somehow which I'm still learning I man that's 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 a whole different subject right there but let's just say that we cut it right there we root it but here possibly in one year with this long tree maybe that's a forty dollar tree right there you know and put it in um, I don't know five gallon bucket you know, 30, 40, maybe $50 tree. Now, um, the reason it got me thinking about this is I have some hay over there um, covered up by those two uh, barrels. And those are 45 gallon barrels. And um, usually, well here, right there, there's a, there's a barrel right there. That's a 35 gallon barrel. Most of the time when we buy a tree for, uh, for my lawn company, the cheapest tree that we buy is 90 bucks. Most of them are 100 to 110. So let's just say you take this pear, you root it, you put it in that 35 gallon uh, drum or you know bucket or whatever you want to call it, and you hold on to it for say two, three years. You know, right there, you've got a hundred bucks. And let's say, you know, how much would this tree be worth? You know, you cut, say here, we're starting to go vertical. You cut right there, make a tree out of that. Let's just say you cut right here, flip it around, make a tree. You know, this particular tree right, right here, let's just say that you use this for your, your quote unquote, your seed tree. This thing could be worth thousands. You know, who knows? And I have three trees here, you know, the peach, the pear, and the other peach. But what if we did this with all three of those trees? And let's just say it takes us maybe two years. So, you know, in two years, I don't know, let's just be conservative and say $5,000. Say you make $5,000 in two years. But it takes you know it takes you two years, let's say, to, to to cut, to root, and to sell a tree. But each year you're doing this, and so in two years you've got five thousand. In, in three years, let's just you know let's just be conservative and say five thousand again. Each year you're making that same amount. So let's say that you are selling produce. Let's say that you you sell this you know over there and right over here. Let's just say you sell that for five thousand bucks, but let's say you know you ha I have three trees here I could easily fit six you know let's just say six right here and let's say that I use the fence area so I'm gonna try to get in the shade for y'all let's say that I use the fence over there as a grow out area so you know let's just say in a couple years this area right here could maybe gross me ten grand you know, that's not bad right here, okay? So, um, you know, maybe this helps. I know that I've been trying to think of more and more ways uh, to make money on a homestead just because, you know, again, man, can I make it? Um, you know, you, you, the last thing I want to do is crash and burn. So, um, but, you know, that's that's business. So, um, you know, I guess we're talking about the, the dreaded C word of capitalism today. So, um, so anyway, let's making money. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with making money. You know, it's, it's a win-win situation. You know, I, I cut this, I sell it to you for however much I give you a good quality tree and you give me money that I can use, you know, to pay an electric bill or, or, or buy some food or whatever. So, um, it's a good deal. So anyway, I hope this makes sense. Um, and I hope, I hope, uh, it gives you some good ideas. So I would love to have feedback, but, uh, you know, I think, I think we need more, uh, agricultural entrepreneurs. So, 
Um, and I, I want to be one. I'm working my way to, to, to do that. So I hope you are too. So anyway, I hope this helps. And again, um, I hope it gives you, you know, some good ideas and I'd love your feedback. So I uh, hope all is well. Y'all take care. Bye.